All right, dudes. It's me, Zach. I've been meditating for over 10 years and I still find it hard, but I found an easier way. I started meditating to help with some struggles with my mental health, but while I'm sitting with my eyes closed, I usually get lost in my own thoughts. In 2005, I was in Eastern Europe with one of my closest friends. At this point, I felt total freedom, total, I was just super confident and nothing could stop me, you know. And I remember I went out with my mate to this bar and, uh, and we met three Croatian girls and we went out partying with them, had a great night, as you do when you're a teenager, you know. The next day, we arranged to meet up with these girls and I was feeling fine until we actually met them. And then all of a sudden, I just got really nervous. I felt like there was this overwhelming pressure to be funny and charismatic. And I was really quiet as we walked around the streets of the city, which was very unlike me back then. And um, we went to a restaurant and I remember feeling sick from nerves when the food came. And I started cracking all these really lame, awkward jokes. And it was just, I don't know, it was just a horrible, horrible lunch. And from that day on, I had social anxiety. It was as sudden as that. That night, the girls invited us out again. And I knew I wanted to go, but I declined. My mate went on his own and I just needed to be alone in that moment and that ended up being a pattern that I would re repeat for the next 10 years. I wanted to hang out with my friends but the anxiety was just too much for me and I feel like I missed out on so much because of it. I just I found myself spending way too much time in isolation. Uh, when I did force myself to go out I would feel sick and I, like literally I couldn't eat because I felt so sick. To try and stop me feeling this way, I would experiment with loads of different things. I've always had an aversion to pharmaceutical drugs. So I looked for natural things that I could use. Nothing worked. I tried meditation, but I couldn't really concentrate. I thought traveling the world might help. So I went all around America, all around Europe, all around Asia. Still felt anxious. Anyway, I'm not telling you this as some sort of sob story to make you feel sorry for me because I feel like I don't even know who that guy is anymore. And here's why. I remember I was stuck in this tiny little town in Bulgaria. I was waiting for my Russian visa to come through and I was scrolling through Instagram and I discovered mandalas through a tattoo artist named Orge Kaladimus. His work awoke something in me. I immediately went out, I bought everything I needed to draw mandalas. Everything I got hold of was just terrible, like just this crappy little plastic compass and a tiny little plastic ruler very basic but it all did the job and I drew my first mandala drawing that mandala was a huge turning point in my life and after that mandalas and geometry became a meditation it's not the only thing that helped reduce my anxiety but it's, it's definitely right up there I started drawing mandalas constantly if I had some free time, I would be drawing mandalas. I couldn't stop because it just brought me so much peace. And as an added bonus, it also brought others joy when they saw them. For me, what makes a mandala so meditative is you don't have to use your imagination too much. It's not like when you're drawing something realistic or an illustration and you have to concentrate. It's all about the process. The mandala will look however it looks and there's, there's no good or bad and this allows your mind to shut off and focus. You know, the word mandala actually means mind maintenance. It also means circle, which symbolizes everything. Everything is circular, and the mind is the source of everything. A mandala is almost like a mantra. You know how a mantra is repeated over and over again to get into a trance? That's what you're doing with the mandala. Each petal is a mantra, putting you deeper and deeper into a trance. And the reason this works is you're accessing two important parts of your brain, one that deals with the reasoning and judgment, and another which deals with emotions and senses. It has a hypnotic effect, putting you into a state of hyper-focus, which helps you feel more grounded. I like to combine breathing exercises with the drawing. 
and I'll time it so that I exhale before drawing a line, hold it, and then take a breath between the lines. There's also no rush to finish mandalas in one session. You can keep coming back to it each day. So if you just need 10 minutes of focus a day, pick up the compass, draw for 10 minutes. It's better than nothing. You can make it like your meditation practice. You know, instead of sitting down and meditating, just sit down and draw for 10 minutes. And if your mind happens to be really busy and you just can't shut it off, that's good too, because before you start drawing, you just think about the issue that you've got that's got your mind racing and it's causing you to feel unsettled. Take some deep breaths, focus on your breathing and just start drawing. And you'll find as you start drawing and falling deeper into relaxation, your mind will start working through your challenge and your subconscious will come up with the solution. So yeah, that's been my geometric journey with mandalas and uh, it pretty much always brings me to the present and it stills my mind. And I hope it can do the same for you. Mm -hmm.